Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Honey ho, guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we are talking about one of the biggest events every year that every Harbor Freighter looks forward to, and that is the 25% off coupon. Yeah, it's coming this weekend, April 20th and April 21st. Your 25% off any single item coupon. And the bear is here to tell you how to make the most of it. What you can use it on, what you can't use it on, and how you can tell the difference. Okay, that should make it a little bit easier to read there. But let me let the bear read through it for you here for a minute. That is, limit one coupon per customer per day. Save 25% off any one item purchase. Cannot be used with other discounts. That doesn't mean you can't buy something else and use another coupon on it. It means you can't use, for the item you're using this on, you can't use any other discount. Since everything at Harbor Freight, there isn't really a sale per se, everything's a coupon, you can't stack coupons. There are a few out there where you can stack them, but they're rare as hen's teeth, and this sure ain't one of them, all right? So, you're not going to be able to use it with the Inside Track Club. You're not going to be able to use it for buying a gift card. You're not going to be able to uh, use it on open box or three-day parking lot items, okay? So that's kind of the general, you're not using it on this kind of stuff. So the other thing is they spell out some specific items. No compressors, no floor jacks, no safes, no sawmills, no storage cabinets, chests or carts, no trailers, no trencher backhoes, no welders, and then they get into the brands. Admiral, Ames, Bauer, Cobra, Cover Pro, Daytona, Diamondback, Earthquake, Fisher, Hercules, Icon, Jupiter, Lynx, Poland, Predator, Tailgate, Viking, Vulcan, Zurich, blah, 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 not valid on prior purchases, non-transferable, original coupon must be present, although you can use the digital that counts as the original coupon. Now, I know you're asking yourself, is there anything worth getting? That's a lot of stuff called out. Well, yeah, yeah, there is, and let's jump into that right now. First off is the Chicago Electric 10-inch, 2.5-horsepower Thailand brick saw. Yeah, I know I did a review of the diving back, and I do like that diving back. It's a great saw, but you're not going to be able to use a 25% off coupon on it, but you can on this one at $279.99. That takes us down to $217.49. That's a heck of a deal. Next, we got the 17-inch, 16-speed drill press for $400. Now, 25% off coupon takes us down to $300. Trust the bear when he says you're not going to find a drill press of this caliber for anywhere close to that price. I have this drill press. I love it. I think it, it it's great. I actually used to use a, a dedicated shopsmith, which, as anyone who knows those things will tell you, is a absolute beast of a machine. And this thing does it and more. And on top of it, it's got the drainage tray there so you can drill metal. It's got the, the drip uh, funnel down there. It's got the catch basin. This is an absolute beast of a drill. And as I said, you're not going to come close to it for twice that price. And next up, we've got the 4-inch by 6-inch horizontal and vertical metal cutting bandsaw. I know this is at the back of the store. A lot of people gloss over it and don't really think about it. These things are absolute tanks. You'll see them on Craigslist selling from 20, 30 years ago. They haven't changed one bit in that time. And there's a reason why. Because they work. They just absolutely work. I know a lot of guys, metal workers, welders and stuff who have these, they use them at work, they use them in the home shop, and at 25% off, let's see, that gets us, we're talking about 259.99 times 0.75, that's $194. Next up, we've got the 70 gallon, two horsepower, heavy duty dust collector. This one's a no-brainer. You see it all over YouTube. Lots of guys and gals converting this into a two-stage dust collector. This thing is great. If you can, I will say, try and get the green one. The, the gray one is not bad. They're essentially the same thing. There's just a slight better build quality in the green one than in the gray one. Now, at $209.99, we're looking at a out-the-door price, not including tax, of $157.50 or $157.49, depending on how you... You're around your, your percentages there. Next up, I know I double check this and I'll talk about how I check this at the end, but yeah, you can. Badland winches. This is a $400 winch. You can use that 25% off coupon on out the door. 1,200 pound winch for $300. This will pull about anything. Let me tell you, this thing is. It's got all the features you want. This isn't just for like, they got some smaller ATV ones. No, you can put this on your Jeep, your truck, whatnot. You can go out and have some fun. I know lots of people who use these things off-road. 
I know some pros who do some hot shotting who use this on their trailer for towing cars, pulling them up on the bed and stuff. This thing works. Next, we get a shop crane. Now, they, they have two cranes. They have a one-ton and a two-ton crane. I picked the two-ton because 25% off. That's 25% more savings, right? At $229.99, that means out the door, you're looking at $175 on this. Now, quite often, you can find the one-ton cranes on Craigslist for about 100 bucks. And I usually tell people to go that route. But if you're looking for a two-ton foldable crane, they're not as easy to find on Craigslist. And at that price, you, even if you only need it for one job, you could buy it use it and sell it on craigslist and recoup your money i kid you not in in like a weekend now the other good thing about these things is that they do fold up and they don't take much of a footprint which means if you need this for other things around the shop and you don't think that you do but trust me if you're going to build an actual shop in at your house or you got a small automotive shop or whatnot there's lots of heavy equipment that you need to move getting stuff off of trucks uh, you know, adjusting table saws, putting, I, you know, putting the head on, on a, a drill press. There's lots of things you can use this for. There's a lot of heavy tools you're going to be working with, and this will help you work smart and not hard. Next on the list, somebody just asked me about this the other day. They said, hey, I, I found a cheap table saw, but the motor is dead. Where can I get a cheap uh, a motor for my table saw? Well, here you got the Smith & Jones. I didn't even know they had a brand name on these. I <laughs> wonder when that happened. That may have already always been there. Who knows? Bear misses some things sometimes. A three horsepower compressor duty motor for one thirty one twenty five. Wow, or one twenty four, whatever pennies. What's pennies between friends, right? Anyway, you're good luck trying to find a good solid electric motor for that price. You're you're just not going to do it. And this thing is again tried and tested. Everything here. I, I try to find all good stuff that people have used and that everyone pretty much agrees, hey, this is a rock solid piece of equipment. And and this is, and you could bring back any piece of, you know, a compressor, you could run uh, all sorts. And, you know, I said, this is a compressor duty motor. They have other motors. I'm just showing this one as an example because, of course, it's the most expensive. So, you know, save as much as you can, right? I should also point out, this is a 220 volt motor. All right. So if you, you don't want to go that route, you're going to need something small. Next on the list, one of the Bears' favorites, the 500-pound capacity hydraulic table cart. They do make a 1,000-pound, but uh, really, you only need that if you are if you know you're specifically going to be lifting some really heavy stuff. Uh, $169.99 with your 25% off. That's going to take this down to $127.49. This is a great thing to have around the shop. You don't, you need this, you don't even know you need this. I, I, I've talked to lots of people. I've talked to lots of people into buying this. And every single one of them has written me later to say, Bear, I don't know how I got on without this. You can use it for unloading your truck. You can use it for, you know, working on a workpiece. Go watch my video on how to repair a, uh, a washing machine. And you can see I put the washing machine on this and was able to use it as a pedestal to rotate the piece, to work on different angles, to raise and lower it. So I'm not putting a, a crick in the old Bear's back, if you would. I use this thing all the time, and when I'm not using it as a lifting cart, I just use it as a side cart for tools and such around the shop. I use it every single day. I got stuff sitting on it right now that I'm using. I know I I used it for my video on the ratchets. This I find a use for it all the time. And best of all, the kids love it. They ride up and down on the thing. It's like an amusement park for them. Wow. Next up, the Diablo hose reel. If you don't have a hose reel. You're, you know you're fighting with that hose. You're just fighting it all the time. Those things love to kink up on you. And these new Diablo hoses are great. I got a couple of them. I love working with them. You can really feel the quality in them. And having a nice retracting hose reel like this really helps keep the shop nice and clutter-free. you know clutter -free. Uh, I like to mount them uh, over near the, uh, the garage door. That way I can uh, run air out to one of the cars or whatnot or anything else I'm doing outside besides being able to run it around the shop as well. And the, these things, as I said, a five-star review, 38 reviews, it hasn't been out that long, but lots of people have been using them. They all love them. And at one, 120, it's not a bad deal at 120, but you know what? Let's use that 25% off coupon, shall we? And we're going to get that down to $90. You're not going to come close to that 90 bucks. Come on. You know you want it. Get it. Do it. Organize your shop. Don't be tripping over hoses. And lastly, the 1,000-pound steel motorcycle lift. Normally $400, you can get this down to $300. If you work on scooters or 
uh, bikes or anything else like that. I know people, I've talked to people who have a gold wing they've used on this thing. It will lift it. And, uh, and it's way better than working on those little spindly lifts or something like that. I'll be honest, I've been wanting to get one. I don't have room for it in my shop right now. Currently, I just use that cart that you just showed you. But that's kind of crazy and a little bit dangerous. So don't do what the bear does. Be smart. Get something like this. It's got a chalk block in it. You can ratchet everything down and be safe. And you can even move it around, you know, the shop. Get it out of the way when you're not using it. At, at $300, you're not going to find anything close to that. Now, let's get back to how you can find out if you can use this. Now, like I know a lot of people are probably already screaming, but Bear, that, that was a cart you showed us. You can't use these on carts. I checked with the store manager first to make sure that that's not the kind of cart they're talking about. They're talking about the U.S. general kind of, you know, service carts and tech carts and stuff like that, the five drawer carts. What we're talking about there, that's a different kind uh, of thing. And, and here's how you really check to make sure. What you do is you go to Harbor Freight Online, all right? And you find the item you're interested in and you add it to your shopping cart. Once you do that, what you're going to see is you'll see the item here in your shopping cart. And then if it's not eligible, what you'll see below it is the item is excluded from certain coupon offers. Please check the coupon for details. It's just that simple, guys. They have it right in the website. It tells you every time whether you can or can't use it. So anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. I hope you yours have a very enjoyable Easter. Go out and enjoy the weekend. And remember why we celebrate. I know chasing eggs and chocolate bunnies is all sorts of fun. But there's other reasons as well. You know what they are. You take care. And as always, shine on.